In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst, glorify him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Mark, chapter 2 verses 13 through to 17. Then he went out again by the sea, and all the multitude came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, Follow me. So he rose and followed him. Now it happened, as he was dining in Levi's house, that many tax collectors and sinners also sat together with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many, and they followed him. And when the scribes and the Pharisees saw him eating with the tax collectors and sinners, they said to his disciples, How is it that he eats and drinks with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful disciples of yours. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Yes. Think about that. Yes, Jesus is calling us all to repent of our sins, of our worldly ways, calling us back to God. We need to repent of our sins, not just once a week or once a month or whatever. When people go to confession, how often do they go? It might be once a year, twice a year. No, every day. We need to confess our sins. Not necessarily does it have to be to a priest, but at least a couple of times a day we need to fall down and pray and ask God to forgive us our many sins. Every time that we fail, if you realize it, confess. Ask God to forgive you for not doing what he has taught us to do. Jesus came to call us, not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. We are all sinners every one of us. Yes, priests, bishops, deacons, those people who participate in the liturgy at the church are sinners too. We know, we know that we are sinners. We need to see a doctor. In this particular case, it's a priest. Yes, we need to go to church because we are sinners. There is an old saying I remember growing up, goody two shoes. Yes, you go to church, don't you? Yes. And there are many other terms I could use too, but I won't now. You could think of it yourself, what people used to say. If you are being good. 
don't follow the crowd in its sinful ways, stop. Repent of your sins. Call on the great physician, Jesus Christ, to help you. Call on the Holy Spirit to guide you. Yes, he is there to help you. He is the helper. Listen to him. When you pray, give God the glory and thanks that we do have the great physician there to help us, to forgive us our sins, the many sins we have. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you forever and ever. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>